have a question. Have you ever been fired? Well, if you answer that question with a yes, welcome to the club. Okay, I want to talk about getting fired because I actually have a story about getting fired. I have been fired from two jobs in my whole entire life. Currently, right now, I've been saying I've been working as a factory worker in a sand factory. I'm not going to say the name because one day they will see these videos and then they will be like, Omar, you're fired. But as of right now, I will talk about the time I got fired from my the job I had before this job. <laughs> so sorry, mom and all family members seeing this. I have got fired from my last job, I think a year ago. My phone. So anyway, I used to work at this job last year. Which, first of all, let me start off and say that this entire situation on how I got fired from my last job was crazy, right? So. I worked in a hotel for dogs, right? Now you're looking at me like, Omar, what are you doing at a hotel for dogs? Listen, bro. I'm like, I'm like, yeah. I'm just trying to get by in life. So <laughs> I'm trying to, so that's just basically what it goes boils down to. Uh, I was working at a hotel for dogs and I'm gonna call the boss. Well, my ex-boss. I'm gonna call him the boss. So yeah, the boss. So I had the boss of this hotel for dogs. Uh, up my ass all the time, right? So all the time I do all the jobs, you know, I would pick up dogs I would clean the dogs. I would wash them. I would do everything you had to do for a dog Like I do for my own dogs, right? But for other people's dogs, right? So I remember day one when I got hired. I literally said to myself This isn't it Omar. You, this can't be your life, man Like I've always knew this wasn't gonna be my life But I always knew it was gonna be a stepping stone for me to achieve my goals, right? So the pay was shit, but I needed the money, right? Because my, my family's on my ass. They were like, Omar, I need money for this. You need to pay some bills. So, you know, like I said, I'm a regular guy like y'all. So, hey. <laughs> so, wrote a story. I get hit with some So, it was right around, I want to say like two weeks before Christmas, right? So, two weeks before Christmas, I'm sitting there like, okay, I have to go on vacation because I'm about to leave, right? And I was like, I need to put my, put like, you know, put my time out. So I go up to my boss and I go, hey man, uh, I, I'm gonna be away for a little while. I'm gonna need you to take me off the schedule because it says I'm working Christmas day, the day before Christmas, and the day after Christmas, I'm not gonna be in town. So he was like, okay, took me off the day, right? So I go, okay, right? I walk away. I see somebody come next to me who was supposed to be a supervisor. I don't really know. I really don't care at this point who it was. But I'm gonna say I had somebody come up to me. He was like, Omar, uh, I need you to clean something for me. So I said, I cleaned it. Okay, so I'm gonna say this in the most nicest way possible. This guy kept getting upset with me because of the way I clean. I know some of you guys know what I'm talking about when someone cleans, but then they don't clean the way you're supposed to clean, right? So I clean the way I'm supposed to clean. Like I'm doing everything at once. I'm cleaning and I'm mopping. I'm doing everything, bro. And he's like, you're doing it wrong. You're supposed to do it like this, this, this. But I'm like, bro, I do it like this and, it, and the results come out the same. He goes, no, but you have to do it the way I, the way I am supposed to teach you how to do it. I'm like, bro, okay, whatever. That was, that was like, within the week. I said, okay, whatever. You guys got it, right? So, this one ends up happening, and this is how I end up getting fired from my own goddamn job, right? So, the day before I got fired, right, I was talking to these two girls. Uh, not like that, but just talking to, like, friendly conversation, right? And I remember telling one girl, I was like, hey, um, you know, we were just talking about whatever. I don't remember. We were just talking about something, right? So the girl that I was talking to, like my coworker, she put pills that were supposed to be for a dog in another dog's bowl. Now, when you hear that, you go, Omar, I can already see where it's going. You deserve to get fired. But, 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 let me finish the conversation, okay? So what ends up happening is that she puts it in, right? Now, this is the thing. I've never touched the bowl at all that day, right? So what ended up happening it, for, for me to get fired was, I said, oh, let me let me take the ball and I'll write it on the thing because I'm about to leave anyway, right? Something told me I should have just left before they gave out dinner, right? I'm telling you, something should have told me to leave 
early, bro. So what ended up happening, I take the ball from her. I'm trying to be a nice guy. I'm like, hey, let me take the ball. I'm on my way out anyway, right? She's like, okay, would you definitely thank you? No problem. I said, right, no problem. I grab the ball. I give the ball to the dog. I write the I write the my initials on the paper to give it to say I did it, right? So all of a sudden, day goes by, I go to sleep, I go to work the next day, right? When I go to work the next day, let me tell you something. I went a whole day working and I'm doing everything. Like I'm I have the dogs leash, I fed them, like breakfast and everything. And I'm like, yes, yeah, it's, it's a good day today. But I leave like another four hours, I'm like, I'm really it's a pretty good day today. So let me tell you something. The boss man comes up to me. He goes, Omar, what are you doing? I said, I'm letting the dogs out. And he goes, oh, so, but what are you doing now? I said, I, I just said, I'm letting the dogs out. He goes, oh, okay. I don't think this is gonna work out, Omar. I go, what are you talking about? He goes, yeah, I don't think this is gonna work out. He goes, everyone's talking and saying you're a bad employee. I said, what that woman said. Oh my God, I already knew what was about to happen, but I was like, so you're about to let me go because people don't like me. That's a first, I've ever heard that in my life. Second, I was like, but what did I do to deserve it? I was telling him, I'm like, what did I do? He tells me I, I put pills in a dish that wasn't eat, like, and I gave it to the wrong dog. I go, bro, that wasn't even me. And I told him that wasn't me. So we go, so this, he goes, no, it is you. Your, your initials on it. I said, yeah, because I signed up before I left, but I'm telling you, I did not put the stuff in the bowl, my guy. And he's like, no, I'm gonna tell you, right? So he goes upstairs, tries to pull up the, the security cam and, sh and to show me doing it. Secu Let me tell you something. The cameras weren't even working. So I go, what the hell? And then he tells me that one of the other people in the, <laughs> In the establishment, tell him that I don't clean, I don't, I don't mop, I don't, I don't do anything properly. Because he said, oh, one guy said you don't clean properly. So I said, so you get mad at me for not cleaning the edges of something, which I do. But I think maybe the time he asked me, I was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like I said, I'll do it right now. And he goes, no, no, no. I, I, he's already, I already told you, uh, and I'm not gonna let you go because you didn't clean the edges. You gave the dogs the wrong, the wrong dog bowl. And I said, bro. That wasn't even me, and I'm trying to plead with him, like yo, yo, yo. like I, like the thing was, looking back at it now, I don't know why I was pleading for him, cause you know, now like who gives a. F the reason why I was so harping on the job because my situation was pretty messed up, right? I had bills to pay, I had rent to pay, I had insurance to pay, and he's letting me go, and I like all in the span of two weeks before Christmas, and I'm sitting there like, I'm telling him like, yo, yo, please, man, I'm like, I need this, I, like, and I want to say I need the job, but I was like, please, man, I was like, I need, I need this, man, and he's like, well, you're, I'm, you're, he goes, you, I have to let you go because what if somebody here needs this opportunity to be a vet and you're just sitting here because he literally told me, which I basically said right now, I'm just here to get by. And I was like, you know, in hindsight, I'm glad he fired me because I wouldn't be here today, you know, doing this stuff right now. But it's the fact that like, you know, I'm just a regular guy like all of you guys. Like I need money to survive. Bro, I need some help, man. Like, you, you are about to deprive me of my money. And that's the thing, though. Everybody at that job were goddamn losers. Like, everybody at that job was losers. And I'm telling y'all to y'all face, y'all all were losers and y'all all could go suck a I, I'm saying that to say that, yo, my experience with getting fired f***ing sucks. And I know all you guys who've been fired, it sucks. Because my experience of getting fired sucked. Your experience with getting fired sucked. I've been fired twice, but my second time getting fired was one of the worst ones. Two weeks before Christmas, you couldn't even like, like, oh my God, like I was so heartbroken. I had to get people presents. I had to uh, like everything before the holiday, bro. And I'm, I have no money because I have like, I have no job. So the, that Christmas, last year's Christmas was the worst for me because I had no money. I just got let go. I couldn't tell nobody I got let go because, um, like it just would have been a, a stigma of of like oh Omar is not doing anything with his life Omar is not doing that Omar's not doing this because like I'm gonna be a little personal here guys that um even still to now this day that my family doesn't believe this YouTube stuff will work you know I'm perfectly fine them with them believing in that but it's just the art of growing and you know showing them that yo this can work if you just put your mind to it
I love doing this because it lets me express myself and it, it lets me um, create. Like, you saw my photo channel, you saw I love to do that. You see me here, I love to talk. Like, I just like to express myself in different in different ways. And what I didn't like about getting fired from my job was that he just kept saying that everyone didn't like me. Now, I get it now, like in hindsight, not everyone's gonna like you, but it's just the fact that nobody liked me in my job. And now, excuse me. Now, the person I am, I don't even talk to nobody. Like, I'm, I'm kind of to myself when, it, when I'm out in public. But if I know you, you get this version of me, like, of me talking and, ah, like, I'm, like, just that type of person. But if you don't, if I don't know you, I'm not going to open up to you. Like, I'm not going to see you day one. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, my name is Owen. Like, what's wrong with this guy? I was so upset, bro. I was so upset, bro. Because I literally was, like, I was, like, tears were coming down my eyes last year because not only was I getting let go, because it's, like, my situation was not good. And I mean, it's still not good, but it's better than it was last year. I'll say that. Like, you know, when people say, you know, it gets better, it does, but not the way I would like it to be, but it does get better. So, yeah, I was just very heartbroken in that moment. I came back home. I cried. My girlfriend was home. She was... You know, comforting me. She was like, "It's okay." And I was like, "No, you don't understand. Like, like I can't. Like, like what do I look like not holding on to a job?" And it's just like, my family is just like on my ass. And I was just like, "Bro, it just sucked though." And getting fired was the worst. Well, one of the worst things that happened to me last year. But I'm, I'm thankful now because I got a new job. But then even then, I'm, I'm calling it right now. This, I'm not staying at this new job for long. Whether I get fired or whether I get successful on YouTube, like I'm not staying with this job, and and um, I, I just like if, like if you guys know, you guys know when you're in a situation and you want to get out of it, you try to do better for yourself, like you try to achieve it any way you can in any way possible, and I strive that to myself, and I listen to like you know famous people, and I listen to like podcasts of just saying you know just go for it, man, go for it, go for it, whether you're trash, whether you're terrible like you will get better in time man and that's all i have to say when it comes to that all right it's your boy omar and i'm signing off and i'll see you in the next video peace